Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Yes. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on Twitter X. We like the Twitter X. We do. We're on there all the time. We are. I wanted to make this video for the people that do not have Instagram pages or don't have access to Instagram pages. Also the people who are in a very exclusive club that Stephanie and I are in, and we're very proud of it. We are in the Omid Scobie blocked you from Twitter club. He blocked me, he blocked but he blocked me. me by association. He blocked me because I'm Nancy's twin. Yeah, she didn't even say anything. How cool is that? I called him a court jester. He didn't like it. And then uh, he blocked you maybe a day later or something. I'm your so, twin. Yeah. <laughs> Omid, however, does keep his Instagram page up to date. And the reason for that being is you can delete comments, negative comments off your Instagram page can't do it on Twitter. If somebody writes something under your Twitter, you're stuck with it. So Instagram is perfect for a person like Omid who gets more negative comments than positive comments. It's like Bunker Omid, like, like Bunker Harry. Bunker Harry, yeah, Bunker, Bunker Omid, Omid on Instagram. Exactly. And he's been doing a lot of stuff with his Instagram stories. And how Instagram stories works is you can either put a recording or a picture and then it, it goes and doesn't it disappear after a while? Yeah, I love it. it yeah, it disappears like after Snapchat. Or well, no, but it it, it disappears after twenty four hours. Okay. But you really get your ad across. Okay, because you tag, 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 tag. Okay, so Omid does the Instagram story. So I make sure I check Omid's page. Like I don't know every couple hours. Wow. To see if he's uh because I I've been intrigued because he's been in SoCal That's since June. Yikes. Okay, and I allegedly think that Omid allegedly might be either allegedly living with Harry and Megan oh. or allegedly living with Doria or allegedly living with Marcus or allegedly living with all of them in one big house. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that dude is in SoCal. And the reason I know this is because I screenshot his Instagram stories that disappeared 24 hours later. This is one of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's trying to get away from the whole British preppy look. He's trying to be like SoCal American Omid. You could just tell like he's he's just trying to be cool. And it's not working, obviously, because look at that. But um, he's got his rings. He's got his necklace. And, you know, he's got the facial hair. The facial hair is what's giving it away. He's just trying to get away from that preppy British Look, he's, you know. a, he's a surfer dude now. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to be like SoCal. <laughs> Here he is. You know, you would think that if you took a picture like that of you having iced coffee, you'd at least clean your cell phone. The smudges really bothered me. Well, how's he taking the picture without his cell phone? I don't know. There's got to be a reason well, that cell phone's in there. There's somebody with them. That's what I'm saying. And we just don't know. But I'm just saying, yeah. I bet investigating that picture, no. I bet there's more to that. He's just trying to look like he's wheeling and dealing. <laughs> but, <laughs> with, but taking a picture yes. without his cell phone. <laughs> Here he is uh, in oh, Malibu oh, Village. Malibu. So he's definitely hanging out in the PCH area. That means yeah. Pacific Coast Highway. We have a we have a long stretch well, of highway. You know what he's doing? He's in the boo. That's what we yeah, call it. Yeah, he is in the boo. He's in the boo. He is in the ocean, <laughs> looking at the ocean. All the cliches. Yeah. It's like and, Paradise uh, Cove, actually. Yeah. If I had to guess. But he's definitely enjoying SoCal. Yeah. Here he is having the sushi. That's no boo. If I had to guess, that's no boo mm -hmm. in Malibu, in yeah, the boo. That is. Yeah. And he's making sure that, oh flowers. yeah, oh, actually, you can tell by the chopsticks. And by the flowers. <laughs> and the flowers. But, oh yeah, they're on, yeah, the, they're chopsticks. on the chopsticks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the flowers are a giveaway. That's I no know, boo. that too. But anyway. Wow, he's, uh, really, he's really cliche in it, Kardashian it up. He's definitely Kardashian it up. <laughs> yeah, so that makes me think that Omid is trying to hobnob like a Kardashian. So maybe, I don't know, an agency, a manager. A person like Ari Emanuel with WME <laughs> might want to sign him too. Hey, they're signing people like that guy from British Vogue. Yeah. Why not sign Omid? He's going to be coming out with a bestseller soon in his mind. That or he's chilling out with Jonathan Shevin. 
that and trying too. to get some PR yeah. clout. You know what I mean? So he's hanging out at the Nobu in Malibu. Here he is. He wanted to put this up so everybody knew about it, celebrating our Waterstones. Thank you, Waterstones, oh. for including Endgame in your best of 2023 list. What a piece of crap. Here he is at mm -hmm. Salty Girl. Wow. Now, Salty Girl is not in the boo. Salty Girl is in West Hollywood. And West LA is also a place that the celebrities like to hang out. Salty Girl is a tourist trap. They are known for their vodka pasta. Oh, no, their vodka penne. Yeah. Penne. And yeah. He's definitely, though, he likes the seafood. Yeah. But, but I'm just saying that's yeah, what they're known for. Yeah. Salty Girl's a uh, West Hollywood favorite. Um, but he definitely is checking out the more touristy Things yes, he would see on Real Housewives. This or, is it's not even it's it's trying to get um I think he's trying to brand himself. He's trying to brand himself because every single time like Sophia Ricci puts up Salty Girl or she puts yeah. up No Boo, she's getting paid for that ad. So what he's doing is he's going, Well, maybe mm -hmm. I can get paid for these no, ads. He's definitely trying and I don't to have that. to do anything I want. Yeah, you he's know, like He's trying to be an influencer uh, like Megan. Yup. And it's so pathetic. And he's, he's doing it on Instagram. Yeah. And I, I mean, I don't know if any other uh, YouTubers out there like Megan's more have put this out, but I, for some reason I'm following it and I'm loving every he's, minute of he's it. He's definitely got the playbook. It's just so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Here he is again. He gets a lot of his meals. He likes taking a pictures of yeah. his meals. Well, no, but he's again, he's tagging the places yeah. that he's, he's going to. And that's, uh, he's always with someone else. Could be, could be Marcus, allegedly. Could be anybody. We don't know. It's all the same meals that these Kardashians and Nicole Ricci and all those people Ice eat. teas. Very yeah. popular. Yep. Very popular. <laughs> Beverly Hills Hotel. There we go. Omid likes going and hanging out at the Beverly Hills Hotel. These are so uncomfortable, though. It is. Um, it's cringe. I, I can't say I can't watch this. I told you. I told you. I said, I said, Omen's trying to be an influencer down in SoCal. That's just a shot of the Hollywood Hills. I don't know if it's no, like it might be Nicholas Canyon. I guess. No, he tell. can't, he can't um live there permanently because he's a he's a citizen of the UK. I mean, he can't move to LA without I mean, I'm sure he has a work visa, whatever he has right now. But yeah, I mean, if he's, he's just working, chilling right now. Yeah, what I think is he's gonna be there for like his book. Because we don't want or, you. No. No. I'm just no. I'm just scared. I'm saying he's a he's a citizen of the UK. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Omid will not be moving here anytime getting, soon. Getting kind of scared. Hopefully. <laughs> but we just wanted to show you what he's been doing over on his Instagram page. You were showing me. I never saw it. Stephanie <laughs> hasn't seen it. But I know a lot of you out there do not have Instagram pages. And a lot of you are like me where you kind of don't really even know what an Instagram story is. Stephanie had to show me how to work ours. But then I was like, wait a second. Omen has one. I'm going to go see what he's been doing over there. So I will keep everybody abreast of any other uh outings that Omid decides to go on and share with us. He's he's very excited about being down there and sharing his little, you know, LA adventure <laughs> with everyone. And, and I'm sure he thinks that Endgame is just going to be the end all be all of all books. It's just going to put the royal family in its place. Now, I wonder if Oprah's going to have him on. Oh, <laughs> probably. Probably. I'm sure he'll be on like, and then he'll fly to New York and go do Gale. Yeah. You know, on CBS and, and make the rounds. He'll make the rounds. Yeah. It's going to be a shit show. It's going to be a shite, <laughs> shite show. show. It's going to be a shite show. So it's going to be terrible. So, uh, yeah, glad you guys, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy that. I just wanted to put that quick video out there. Hello, Stay my tuned. favorite was the chopsticks. <laughs> no boo. <laughs> yeah. God. And the only reason we're laughing at this and and and, and just, just thinking it's so freaking ridiculous is because transient because we lived in LA it's there were transient. just certain places you just avoided because it was just like tourist traps and like you just and the didn't food go. tasted transient tasted like that LA cuisine but like um generic LA cuisine it wasn't like like quality it's LA terrible. cuisine. It was just really gross. You never go to Nobu. Not that saying Nobu has it's horrible, not terrible. awful. I'm no. just saying it's become such a thirst trap. You know, like Katsua. It's just, or it's just like. become such a thirst trap. Yeah. And guys, guess what? There's what do you mean Katsua? There's places in Sherman Oaks and Studio City that have little tiny yeah. sushi places that yeah. actually are good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, um, but that is funny. Is Thanks for funny. showing me that. Man. <laughs> I would never go on his Instagram. So. I know. What a nightmare.
That poor dude. Today's animal rescue, we got one come in from South Wales, United Kingdom, Woodfield Animal Sanctuary. They're a nonprofit horse, pony, and animal sanctuary on Gower. And they take in all sorts of animals who uh, need to retire, have been abused, all sorts of stuff like that. And we love our farm animals so much. We love all animals. Yeah. Um, so we want to give a little love to them. If you can't give them any love, that's fine. Just share their link. It does help to get the word out. So uh, thank you. We're coming up on the holidays. There's so many charities. There's so many charities that we're going to feature. We're going to try to do like two shows a day just to get to get that word the out. word out and maybe um, feature actual dogs that need placements. And then you guys can help us yeah. get the word out. We know that you guys can't um, actually adopt the dogs because unfortunately, a lot of these dogs that we're going to feature, um, you have to live in the city proper to do it those are just like the rules in the united states because trust me i would adopt all these dogs if i could um but you can't so, but getting the word out does help thank you very much for joining us have a great night i hope tonight we can all have a nice reflection on the veterans lest we forget happy veterans day to everyone in the u.s happy veterans day bye guys, bye guys. love you